guys, my name is Paul and this is a video explainer of what Void Destroyer 2 is. So like I said, my name is Paul, I am the indie developer behind Void Destroyer 2. I am a one-man sort of uh, developer here, uh, one man with contractors for art, music, sound, additional programming in some cases. Um, but as far as the studio goes, it's just me in my basement coding away at the game. And uh, so far, you know, so good. And so far, that's how that's exactly how I like it. So this video is to um, hopefully entice you into purchasing Void Destroyer 2 or uh, looking for more info about it. So what I'm going to go through is I'm going to show you uh, bits and pieces of the gameplay while I comment on it. So right now we are in a hangar. This is the ship we have. It is a bounty hunting heavy fighter. So this uh, particular save, this is maybe five to ten hours into a game. Uh, after the player would have become comfortable with the controls and basic mechanics. Um, so what you as the player early on would be doing, you would be piloting small ships, upgrading them, doing missions, uh, buying bigger and bigger ships. Eventually you would arrive at a uh, larger ship like this one, a heavy fighter. Uh, this particular ship is of the bounty hunter faction. So let's go ahead, let's go through a mission. Let's do a destroy platform mission. And let's see if we can hire some helpers here. Go ahead and hire a Skyhawk and the Grim to help us out. And we're going to go ahead and undock. So, like I said, this is a bounty hunter fighter. We are actually at a bounty hunter base. So, if I look behind me, I see the lion and I see the ships protecting the lion. This is, I believe, a destroyer or a cruiser, I kind of forgot, and some frigates and corvettes and gunships. Well, let's not worry about that for now. Let's go ahead and travel to our mission location. I'm going to boost into overworld mode to sort of get away from the base. This is overworld mode. It's a fast travel method uh, in Void Destroyer 2. Void Destroyer 2 is not about long travel times, it's more about what you're going to do uh, when you get there. So you use this overworld mode to travel from one location to another, as you can see there's other locations here, there's other ships. And when we get close to some location, we enter into local space where we can pilot the ship. Engaged combat, things like that. So now this base is already, the stage platform is already attacking me. I'm going to tell my hired ships to attack it. Start shooting at it to weaken it. To get my money. There's my hired ships shooting at it. Looks like some pirates have shown up to defend their platform. I'm going to go ahead and prioritize the heavier ships here. Order my escorts to also attack them just to combine to combine forces here. There we go, that one's down. Stuff is this guy. I can actually insult him to try to get him to focus on me instead of my escorts. There we go. This guy's down. Actually, I'm pretty hurt here. But it looks like two little, two light fighters are left, so I should be perfectly alright. If I'm a tiny bit careful. There we go. There we go. 
Alrighty, so all that's left is this platform. We can actually maneuver in such a way that this platform can't hit us. Right above it. Looks like we still have a uh, wingman with us. We're gonna just whittle it down till it till it explodes. this mission for the bounty hunter faction completing missions gives you money um, ranks up your standing in the faction and also um, well ranking up and getting more money means that you can buy bigger better ships uh, upgrade them and also open up additional uh, additional missions Let's go ahead, let's knock back at the lion. I'm using my active abilities just to kind of travel even faster to boost forward. I'm gonna go ahead and knock back with the lion here. Here we go, repair my ship. So this was the basic uh, gameplay loop for the early game. Um, you go out, do a mission, uh, it doesn't take too long usually. Um, you can hire some ships for help, or I could have potentially bought some uh, wingmen that would be permanent. Um, but if lost, it would cost me quite a lot of money. Instead, I hired ships that will cost me money every time I dock. I can go ahead and I can dismiss these two guys uh, since I might not need them anymore. Um, I can go ahead and do more, more missions here raising my my rank even higher and then potentially being able to buy this bigger bigger fighter here the ultra eventually buy a gunship at rank four uh, and then a corvette at rank five and then even a frigate at rank six so as you can see you can go from fairly small ships this 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 person represents your size. Fairly small ships to fairly large ships. These aren't. This isn't the largest ship. This is just happens to be the largest ship in this faction that you can purchase. Every faction has their own uh, set of ships for the most part. So uh, this is this is the demonstration of the early game. Um, later on, as you get a gunship as you get a uh, corvette, as you get a frigate, the game expands into, into different territories. So let's look at that now. So in this video, I now have a quite a sizable fleet. I am in the Killer Joy, which is a frigate. I have fighters, these vultures, I have these gunships, the rafts. I have little big joys and rhinos. So now I'm traveling to the same base Except now, uh, instead of being friendly, I'm actually a pirate. I've become unlawful and I can give orders to my fleet to assault these ships. Uh, I'm no longer a lackey for the bounty hunters. I'm now an independent, uh, quite fearsome pirate. And my goal here is to actually capture this base. Voyager 2 uh, features overworld mode, which is this RTS-like uh, control mechanic. I can select ships and I can issue commands to them. I can also easily hop into another ship to now take control over a fighter uh, instead of a big giant frigate. I can still hop into a fighter. Uh, have that sort of gameplay, that maneuverability that I had before, or I can go back to my frigate and uh, you know feel very safe and secure with it. So Voyager 2 goes from tiny, tiny little ships to uh, very large ships to fleets 
to anything you want, essentially. Uh, it's one of those games where I've put in way too many features um, that I should have. You know, I should have really uh, made a smaller game, but it's just it's just how it is for for my particular development style for uh, my indie development, uh, where I'm trying to create the game that uh, I would love to play myself, and in doing so, uh, just sort of kitchen sink a game that doesn't really exist normally uh, because it would probably be too expensive and too risky to create. But for an indie. Not taking risks is a is a risk itself. So now let's hop into another uh, save file. Um, this time we're actually going to be uh, a base owner. So this is actually after we've conquered a base, destroyed its defenders, invaded it. So here we are. We are actually at a base that we own. This is the Anubis. It's a Corvette class ship. It's the largest class ship that can fit in the base hangar. Ships larger than a Corvette um, would not be able to hit, fit in a base hangar. They would just be parked outside. Uh, so now that we own this base, we have access to this base management screen. We can control the economy of the base. We can tell the base which uh, resources to buy and sell. We can tell the base which resources to supply and request to other owned bases. We can manage its defensive spending. We can also build defensive platforms in case pirates or enemies show up. We can buy a shipyard and uh, economy producing platforms if we have the money to boost up our resource production. Now that we own this base, we no longer buy ships, or we no longer exclusively have to buy ships, but we can now build ships. Building ships costs much less credits, however it requires ore, so we would either need to trade for that ore, or uh, set up transport ships to buy ore and deliver it here, or we would uh, need to have mining ships mine that ore. These are some of the ships of this faction. For example, here's the Hades. This is the biggest ship this faction has to offer. As you can see, our reference point is, is very tiny than what we started here from the Hornet. This is the starting ship. Uh, the scale is much different. While you own a base, you have access to a special room in the base. Let's go over there now. This is called the Remote Interface Room. While in this room, we now have access to overworld mode from inside the base. This means that we are still in the base, however we can send out ships to the overworld. We can create fleets. Tell fleets to be uh, joined together to create larger, larger groupings of ships. Here's this fleet that I just created, a bunch of Anubis Corvettes. So we are quite safe in our base right here. Uh, we are not in this ship here. We can go ahead and explore the game world. Uh, we can conquer other territory. We can patrol this um, asteroid field. Basically own it. Get paid for uh, any mining ship that comes in here. And if any pirates show up, uh, get paid bounties for having uh, destroyed those pirates. Or we can try to take over a pirate field, like this one right here. Let's do that now.
issue the command on this field and try to take it over. Tell our ships to use their fuel to get in there. This field looks like it's fairly heavily populated, so we might not be able to actually take it over here. But let's try it. We might need a larger force to take over this field. However, let's, let's give it a shot. We might die a spectacular death. <laughs> but that's okay, because we're actually in that base. Uh, so we're actually, we can't be harmed physically. There's our corvettes. Let's issue a command to attack that ship. That's a larger threat. While our fighters attack the gunship. So Void Destroyer 2, you start off with a little tiny ship. You then upgrade it. Uh, you do little missions for factions. You're sort of a lackey for factions. You explore the game world, you try to understand your role in it, then you try to define your role in it. You build up to larger ships, you build up to a fleet, you potentially get trading ships, mining ships, to uh, make you money as you as you do uh, potentially more involved tasks like uh, missions and, and uh, combat. Looks like we are doing really well. Let's go ahead and let's form up here. To be a little bit more organized. So like I was saying, Void Destroyer 2, there's quite a variety of gameplay, game types. Uh, if you want to be a uh, fighter pilot, if you want to be a more of a commander, uh, once you get bigger and better ships, you have the ability to uh, control them via an RTS interface. Um, so you can have a nice, nice way of managing huge battles. Uh, you can take over pirate fields, you can own them, you can mine fields. Looks like we've actually basically taken this field over, except for this run. Our ships are engaging. So, I hope that this video uh, entices you to check out more info about Voyager Shore 2. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, if you do decide to buy the game, uh, which I would greatly appreciate. That is, this is of course my job, my passion, my income. If you do decide to buy the game, um, if you have any issues or questions, feel free to let me know. I'm usually very, very available on the Steam forums. And I hope to see you guys on there. Hope to see you guys on the Steam forums, letting me know uh, as we continue the process of development of the game through early access into release and beyond. So if you have any questions, feedback, comments, criticism, let me know. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you, your interest. We now own this field. We can actually take some ships and potentially own this nearby field as well. Here's another field we could take in the future. Um, here is our, our own base. We can actually move this base. This is actually a mobile base. We can move it to a more strategic location to potentially own all three of these fields. We can then attack other bases, uh, take over more territory, expand our expand our reach as you see fit. Void Destroyer 2 is a game where you start with a single ship and if you want you can end up with uh, the entire entire game world. Here we have some, got some bounty for destroying a ship here. Uh, so we're making credits off this field. When these mining ships go here they'll give us money also for, for defending this field. 
Um, all right, seems like I've rambled off track again. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope that uh, you're interested in the game. I hope that you pursue uh, more info about it. And I hope to talk to you guys later.